Okay, hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Trudy Vysotsky and in this brief tutorial I really wanted to just show you um, some sizing I guess that has really been working for me lately for creating some Facebook covers that are optimised for mobile and PC. Now as very many of you know Facebook has over the years modified their sizes so this particular video tutorial is relevant right now for today. I can't confirm that it'll be the same forever. But for right now, if you were to um, consider all the beautiful, amazing um, Facebook covers that you've created and uploaded to your Facebook page, you might notice that when you look at them on your PC or maybe your iPad or Android tablet, um, they look different to what you also see on your mobile device. Now, given that uh, an enormous percentage of people are now using social media on their mobile, you wanna make sure that you don't miss out on any vital information on your Facebook cover, um, whether it's for personal or professional use. So in this tutorial, I just wanted to show you some sizing that's working really well for me right now. So let's have a little look initially um, at the Canva dimensions that are provided. Now, I'm not going to talk about uh, resolution and ratio and things like that, but obviously in previous videos, I talked about it, using really high quality um, photos in anything that you use, whether it's for a Facebook cover or an advert or posts or whatever it might be. But at this very moment, if you were to go into Canva, their preset dimensions for a Facebook cover are 1640 by 924 pixels. Now, what I'm suggesting is that maybe you consider sticking to one size, which is 80, 820 by 360 pixels. Um, but you can also play around, depending on uh, whether your Facebook cover has words in it, you might also get away with 640 by 360. But I've been playing around, I've got a Facebook page set up just to test out different cover sizes and I've been really finding that no matter what I really do find that the 820 by 360 looks much better on every single device. So don't worry about the numbers right now I'm going to actually walk you through it um, so that you can follow along but let me show you exactly what I mean by Facebook cover design in Canva. So if we go over to Canva uh, in the front page in your search engine at right at the top of the search bar if you were to put in FB or Facebook you'll notice that all of these different suggestion options come up. Now we're only talking about a Facebook cover today we're not talking about a Facebook event cover because it's a different size again but if you look at Facebook cover you notice as I hover over it says 1640 by 924 pixels so if I was to press that right now and I was to create just a blank Facebook. That's the size that I've got here. Okay, so just remember if you ever want to know what size you're working on, just in case you forget or something, go up to the far left up here, click on file, and it shows you underneath here again. So this is 1640 pixels by 924. This is a preset um, uh, dimension that Canva has uh, already that exists in its site. But what I want to do is I want to show you what happened when I actually put in an image that I wanted to test on my Facebook page. So using the Canva dimensions, I wanted to use this cover. I just created this cover, just um, something bright that had some wording and a photo just to show you something that stands out. So this is the exact original that I, that I used. I created this in Canva using their preset dimensions. And I want to show you, this is what it looked like on my desktop. Okay, so notice the original down here on the left. And you notice that some of the words are missing um, on this particular. Otherwise, it's not too bad, but also you notice that the picture's been cropped at the top there. Okay, so what, what Facebook does, it actually crops off um, some of the areas so that it is viewable. It looks different in different devices. So this is just on the desktop. So you notice this is the original and this is what happened when I loaded it. So it, it doesn't look as good as my original and there's information that's missing. So now let me show you that exact same uh, Facebook cover the site using the camera dimensions and show you what it looks like on a mobile device. So you'll notice, so I've, I've taken a screenshot of what it looks like on my mobile device. So this is the original, remember here on the uh, bottom left. And you'll notice on the actual mobile device, it's cut out 
a lot of the words and there's only one little shoulder that's showing there. Okay, so let me now show you what happened when I actually did exactly the same uh, using the 820 pixel. But as I'm just showing you here, this is um, really just showing, this is what we call a safe zone. So this is the area, the white area in the middle. So when you've got a, an 820 by 360 pixel, I, I try and leave a little bit of blank space on the left and the right, because those are showable on your desktop, but only the light purple and the white is showable on your mobile device. So that's why I actually pulled along um, uh, some of the uh, wording to make sure that it uh, was visible in this particular situation. But I haven't changed anything when I loaded the exact same design into an 820 by 360 custom size Facebook cover. So you saw the original here, and that's what it looks like uh, on an 820 by 360 pixel custom size Facebook cover. So I'll show you in a moment how to do custom designs. You may have already done it. Um, but that's what it looks like on my desktop. So it looks really good. And I'll scroll down and show you what it looks like on my mobile device. So again, the original is down here. And you'll notice, of course, you know, we, you don't get the whole, you don't get her whole shoulders in or anything like that. But really, this is mainly what I wanted to get in this particular cover. So that's the 820 by 360 pixel custom size Facebook cover. So to create that particular size, you go back to your Facebook. Um, so you're back to your Canva, back to the original. And you notice up in the top right here, it says create a design. So you click on that and you've got custom dimensions. And what you put in is you put in 820 by 360. And that creates your new design. So this now is your canvas for your Facebook cover. And when you upload it, you will find that it uploads really nicely into your Facebook page. So this is what my Facebook page uh, test page looked like when I uploaded the 820 by 360. It looked really nice on my uh, Facebook desktop page, but it also looked really good in my mobile device, okay? So I'll just show you again, what I also did was another example, just using the um, optimized uh, dimensions for a mobile phone, but I did find that I had to play around with it. I moved it across as much as I could. It looked okay um, on uh, my desktop. So this is the 640 by 360. So again, look at the original here on the left and you'll notice it's cropped off her head a little bit more. Um, so that's the 640 by 360 custom size Facebook cover. So you do exactly the same. You'd go to your um, create a new design in Canva, and put in those dimensions. But I just want to show you what happened when I actually used it on my mobile device. So when I used it on my mobile device, um, this is the original here. I just noticed that I probably would have had to pull it up a little bit here, pull the words up a bit higher, and I still probably would have cut off a bit more of her face. So ultimately, um, I personally believe that the 820 by 360 is the best size to use. Uh, and that's what I would suggest that you use. So the 820 by 360 overall seems to be the best size that I would suggest. So. I hope that you found that useful. Um, feel free to um, join us at our free Canva Club Facebook group uh, and also subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. We are putting up new videos every week and really look forward to um, sharing more with you, ask any questions and look forward to yeah, sharing some new information with you again soon. Much love and bye for now.